Hello everyone. Welcome to the webinar on Intel Edison Arduino application development under Intel Higher Education Challenge 2017 around cyber physical systems. Let us discuss the agenda of this webinar. Firstly, we'll see the recap of Intel Edison compute module, then the connection and configuration of Intel Edison with Windows PC, and Finally, Arduino application development for Intel Edison. Before going through an application development, let's have an overview of Intel Edison module. The Intel Edison compute module is designed to lower the barriers, thus allowing an easy entry for anyone prototyping and producing IoT and wearable computing products. Intel Edison contains dual core Intel Atom processor at 500 MHz and Intel Quark core at 100 MHz. It has 1 GB RAM and 4 GB internal storage. It also supports 40 general purpose GPIO, which can be configured as SD card, UART. I2C, SPI, I2S, and GPIO. Intel Edison supports Bluetooth Low Energy 4.0 and Wi-Fi dual band 802.11. Intel Edison is compatible with Arduino, which can be programmed in C, C++, Python, Node.js, HTML5, and JavaScript. Intel Edison is a module that interfaces with end user systems via a 70 pin connector and it relies on the end user to provide input power and overall system power management such as battery recharging for battery powered systems. Let us now see how we can connect and configure Intel Edison for Windows 7 or Windows 10 systems. To configure Intel Edison, these are the software and hardware requirements. In software, we need Intel Edison board configuration tool to configure and to install drivers for Intel Edison. To build applications around Intel Edison, we need latest version Intel Arduino IDE. Coming to hardware part, we require Arduino breakout board for Intel Edison and two micro B to type A USB cables for connection. We will now see hardware architecture of Intel Edison Arduino breakout board in detail. Out of 14 digital input-output pins, 6 can be used as PW, which are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 pins. It supports 6 analog pins, A0, A1, A2, A3, and A4, for analog sensor interfacing. There is a power port ground V in 5 and 3.3 volt for peripheral interfacing. It has pin 0 and 1, which is RX and TX for UART based device interfacing. It has also got SCL and SDL for I2C based device interfacing. There is also an SD card slot available for external memory. LLED is onboard LED, which is connected to pin 13. Connectors on Intel Edison board. Firstly, we have barrel connector for the external power supply which is used to power up the board. Second, we have a standard USB port. This is used for connections of USB peripherals such as mice, keyboards 
and many more. Third, we have a micro switch which is used to switch between device mode and host mode of USB port. In device mode, the board can be programmed over USB. In host mode, we can plug USB peripherals with a standard sized USB cable into the board. Next, we have a middle USB port which is micro A type. By using this USB port, board can be powered up. It can be used for uploading Arduino sketches as well. It can also be used for updating the firmware by using the board as a storage device like a flash drive. Finally, we have edge port which is also of micro A type. This port is used to create a terminal connection by serial over USB only. I shall now explain how the driver installation is done for the Intel Edison for Windows system. To do the same, first download and then run Intel Edison board configuration tool as administrator. Click on Accept Terms and Conditions. Intel Edison board configuration tool makes use of the libraries and some packages which are useful for the firmware and driver installation. Next, select the USB driver installation and say next. It takes few minutes to install drivers for Intel Edison. Once installation is done, click on finish. To connect Intel Edison board to a system, plug in the power supply to the power jack and once it is done, the green LED should glow on the expansion board. Switch the micro switch down towards the micro USB port. Plug in one of the micro USB cables to the middle USB connector on the expansion board. Plug the other end of the USB cable to the computer. Let us now go through the Arduino application development for Intel Edison. There are certain specifications for Intel Edison board. Ensure that you have system ready with Windows 7 or Windows 10. Make sure that the Intel Edison board is assembled and connected to the system and Arduino IDE is installed. Download and run the Intel Arduino IDE as administrator. Go to Device Manager in your Windows system and find the port to which Intel Edison is connected as shown in the figure. Go to Tools, select Board section in that select Intel Edison. Go to Tools section in the menu bar and select that port which you have seen in the Device Manager and in this context, COM3 should be selected. Once board and port is selected, now we will see how to program Intel Edison board using Arduino IDE. Select Blink Program from Example Programs. Go to File section from Menu Bar and then go to Examples. Select Blink Program in Basic Examples. Click on the Verify icon in the upper left to compile the sketch. Click the Upload icon in the upper left to load and run the sketch on your board. You should see done uploading and transfer complete messages when your sketch has uploaded. 
The LED which is connected to pin 30 on the expansion board should now blink every second. This is the procedure that should be followed to build a program on Intel Edison using Arduino IDE. Please find the links listed to download the Intel Edison configuration tool and Intel Arduino for Intel Galileo. For any queries, please contact Foundation for Innovation and Collaborative Education at info at FICE.in or mentor at FICE.in. You can even visit our website at www.fice.in. Thank you and have a nice day.